back to our quest. That's neat. Looks so nice now. We have two nice temples that we helped rebuild. That's great. That's, um... Is this all the stuff we found? Ah, you've arrived. I've made all the necessary preparations and even packed some handmade snacks. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that reminds me. I've also prepared some launch tubes made by Pungyi. I hope the Adepti will like them. Is there anything else I should bring? I think you've covered it pretty thoroughly. Do you have some jewelry soup, though? For, um... Sky... No. Cloud retainer. Mama bird. Did jewelry soup. You made some, right? Good. In that case, let's first pay Madame Ping a visit in the city before heading out to Joy Yoon Karst. It's time. More. So we're going to go see Teapot Lady. Teapot Granny? Teapot Granny. She always has nice stories. Maybe she'll have another nice story for us. Isn't there usually a fish over here? Maybe I missed one. I like to pick up the fish whenever I come through here because they're easy. There's lotus blossoms, too, if you want those. Over here. Good for making some... It's a four-star dish, I believe. I forget what it's called. Parcels? Something parcels? Jade parcels. That's what it is. The festive season is upon. This is no time to be running hither and thither. We should relax and enjoy the season. I get it, Granny, but you know, having lots of clients is a good thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but really, child, who could be seeking your help during the lantern rite? All kinds of people. It's a festival. <laughs> You'd be surprised. It's a pleasure to see you again, Madam Ping. How are you? Oh dear, well, look who's here. I'm so glad to see you all in time for the festival. Hello, traveler. Long time no see. Some of these pauses oh, are really long. Lady Kuching is here too. Another awkward the pause. The <laughs> have prepared some small gifts for you to celebrate this festive occasion. There are some seasonal goods, two bolts of fine silk, and some exotic flower seeds which I pick specifically for you, Madam Ping. Aw. I brought all the lighter gifts with me, but the silks are still on the way. I just submitted them for delivery, so I'm sure they'll arrive in good time. Awkward pause. Please, accept our humble gifts. I hope you'll find them to your liking. Wow, those gifts sound marvelous. Please be sure to thank the Chising on our behalf. Yes, how very nice of you. I'm sure the flowers will be most beautiful if you personally selected the seeds. Thank you very much, Kuching. Please, enjoy them. We intend to visit the other Adepti as well, so I'm afraid we must be going now. Bye bye. I presume you mean Cloud Retainer and the others? Yes. Yes, they should be over in Jueyun Karst. By the way, I've heard that you designed all the street decorations yourself, Kuching. You've decorated the city so beautifully, yet you don't even have the time to go and see it for yourself. What a pity. Yenfei really enjoys spending time at the festival. You'll find her wandering around there whenever she can spare a moment. Come on, Granny. I wasn't wandering around. I was providing essential consultation to my clients. Oh, is that so? Were you also 
holding consultations with clients while you stood in front of the grilled tiger fish stand for all that time? Weren't you just As a scolding of fact, her? I was helping them calculate the prices. It's not easy, you know. I had to check a lot of different items. So you're working during Lantern Night too? Yes, we just walked in on her scolding you for working so much. And yet here she is, teasing you for not working. Make up your mind, Madam Ping. That's right. There are no holidays in my line of work. I have to be ready whenever my clients need me. That sounds exhausting. Oh, Paimon can't imagine a life without holidays. Well, though there are no set holidays, I do get to decide on my own schedule. I can always budget some time to relax. Otherwise, I would always look exhausted in front of potential clients. It'd be hard to land new cases after leaving a terrible first impression. Besides, uh, what's the saying? Ah, yes. A rested worker is an efficient worker. Yes. Have you been to the festival yet, Kijing? Didn't we already kind of answer this? That you haven't had time yet? We're gonna fix that. Ningguang asked us to. I was there many times when I was supervising the festival construction, but I haven't been there since. I was planning to go after I finished my work, but the work keeps piling up. I ended up completely forgetting about it. That's okay. You've still got time. <laughs> yes, I should take the opportunity to show you around while you're here. But first, we should head to Joy Yoon Karst. If you'll excuse us, Madam Ping. We'll be leaving now. Bye bye, Let's Teapot see. Granny. Which Adeptus shall we visit first? She usually stays inside her abode, so she'll be super easy to find. All right, Cloud Retainer, it is. Are you done talking? All right. I don't want to interrupt their dialogue. This way. <laughs> Climb. If you didn't know, on one of these mountains, there's a group of squirrels off to the side, three of them. It might actually be this one. Yeah, they spawn right down here. I can show them to you. Right there. Oh, not squirrels, marmots. Anyway, you see them down there? If you either make them all run away or just turn them all into meat, um, it spawns a chest. Secrets. I've already done it. It's one of those, there aren't really any hints to let you know it's a thing. Secrets. Ganyu's here! The festive season is fast approaching. What brings you to one's abode? Has the Ministry of Civil Affairs simply run out of work for you to do? No, we just want to come say hi to Mama no, Bird. Lantern right just around the corner. I decided it was a good time to take leave and pay you a visit. Don, you gets it. But, um, where are Mooncarver and Mountain Shaper? They're on their mountains. Them? Oh, don't even get one started. Oh, story time. Oh. Is that not the Traveler and the Yu Hung too? Hmm, a rare visitor indeed. We accidentally interrupted story time. Happy Lantern Ride, everybody! Story time? Greetings, Venerable no. Adeptus. And greetings, Ganyu. Huh? Lady Kuching, I didn't expect to see you here. The Yu Hung of the Chi Sing. Here, most fascinating. Hmm. Most courteous of you to travel hither and pay your respects. What is the purpose of your visit, if one may ask? To bring you treats and spend time it's with you? It's the festive season, and on behalf of the Qixing, I'd like to give you our regards. Please, accept our humble gifts. As the governing body of Liyue, the Qixing must be busy with a myriad of affairs. And yet, 
You still take the time to visit one in this mountain abode? Eminently considerate of you. Oh, what an amusing cylindrical device. I wonder what that could be. It's fireworks. This is a new type of firework which has been modified by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I've heard that you are fond of gadgets, so I've brought one for your amusement. Cloud Retainer. Although she is not outwardly opposed to us, she is still skeptical of Liyue being ruled by humans. Yeah, and you At didn't help. She thinks humans are still too young to handle it. Hmm. No matter. With time, our strength will become apparent enough. Before then, we should try to give her a good impression. <laughs> good thing I came prepared. Cloud Retainer has a great interest in gadgets, so she will certainly appreciate this gift. Ganyu has said that Cloud Retainer is very picky about food, so I made sure not to bring any snacks to avoid upsetting her. But she likes snacks. I've given everything thorough consideration. It should all go well. Nope, Goodness you screwed up. Me. Whoever would have thought? Oh, my, how very interesting. Should have brought jewelry soup. It is intricate with ingenious design and is aesthetically agreeable. Yes, judging from Cloud Retainer's expression, it seems this gift was a success. By the way, we're Very a mind good. reader now. One shall gladly accept this device. One surmises from Ganyu's words that you also wish to see Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper. Pity, your timing is most unfortunate. But why? Oh, are they not home? Oh, we wanted to see them too. Hmm, those two old fossils. Story time. Moon Carver has been most anxious to see how Liyue Harbor fares, but the agreement was clear. Liyue is now in the hands of the Chi-Sing, and he cannot simply roam into the city and begin supervising others' work as he pleases. Sure he can. So one tried to persuade him otherwise, proposing that if he could not be placated, he could go to the city disguised as a human, and take a brief look around. Exactly! Isn't Alas, that what you just said? He is too stubborn, too proud. He would have none of it. Thereafter, he left, claiming to have gone traveling. He has not returned since. He's probably at the festival. Mountain Shaper, however, is more open-minded. But he said he wished to look for something new with which to defend the tranquility of his mountain. He told one that he was leaving in search of treasures, and one has not heard from him since. They're probably at the festival. Wait. Surely this is not a case of two old coots and cahoots? Uh-huh. Rusing to excuse themselves that they might venture behind one's back, to scurry away and go traveling together. Probably. Yeah. You're cute, Mama Bird. Huh? What's everybody doing here? This voice... Is it Shenhe? Oh? Uh -huh. Oh? So Shenhe's here too! Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Hello, best friend. Is she the one that you mentioned before? Hello, everyone. Shenhe, this is Ganyu. You have most likely heard of her. See, Shenha can't be our queen, because Ningguang's already our queen, and she also can't be our princess, because that's Yanfei. And obviously, she's not a cocoa goat, but she's our very good friend. I like Shenha. Shenha is our best friend in this game. That's what I've decided. She's going to be our best friend because I decided. That's it. Remember, I said she was going to be our friend. And she likes us, so we're friends now. Best friends. Uh, oh, uh, hello. I'm Ganyu. I work at Yujing Terrace. I've heard that you returned to Liyue Harbor recently, so if you need anything, please feel free to come to me. Also, she's a cocoa goat. I will. Thank you. I brought some food from the city. I heard that during Lantern Rite, people in Liyue bring food to share with their friends. So here I am. Nice. 
Oh no, I made a point of not bringing any food offerings. Is it going to be okay? It'll be fine. Oh, and you even brought food for those two old fossils. That's right. Hmm. <clears throat> After barely a few days in the city, you have learned so much. Thank you for these delectable edibles, Shen He. Told you you screwed up catching. <sighs> Should have brought jewelry soup. Huh? Should have asked me. Everyone, you shall all be staying in Liyue Harbor in the future. One should like to think that you will all look out for each other. Is that understood? Will do. Yes, understood. Hi, Teal. This place is much livelier than I'd imagined. You'll get your gone, you. Her banner only just started. You, you've still got like two weeks or something. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to check. You've got a while. It's fine. You have plenty of time to get the cocoa goat. Also, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you didn't have the cocoa goat. Oh, you meant your real... Oh, the, the chibi pillow. Gotcha. Soon. I'm sure soon. A lot of things are very delayed right now. Even the animal's food has been delayed recently. So, you'll have to be extra patient. And it'll be cute. You'll have to show us. So cute. I'm so happy to have gone you. Anyways. <laughs> How, have you seen Zhao? But we, yeah, I guess it has been a little bit since we saw Zhao. He is supposed to spend lantern right with me. He said, Zhao said, Zhao said, he would spend lantern right with me. He said, and... We would go somewhere quiet and watch the fireworks. Zhao is my lantern right buddy. Where's Zhao? <laughs> How dare he? You reminded me, game. Where is my Zhao? <laughs> How is Gan Yu treating me? She's treating me well. I like her a lot. <laughs> the conqueror of demons? One has not seen him of late. I want my sulky boy. Enjoying karst. Hmm. Let's go look for him in his usual spot. At Wang Shirin. Or I could just call him. In short, him. one is the only adeptus who has elected to remain in Joyung Karst for the festival. No, he said he he said he said he would watch it with me. He didn't want to go into town, and we accommodated that. He doesn't have to go into town with me if he doesn't want to, but he said he would watch the fireworks and enjoy the festival with me, and he was very sulky about it. But I got my way. <laughs> I want my sulky boy. Had gone you not come to visit, one would likely have stayed firmly put in one's abode to resume research of gadgets and mechanics. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please accept my profuse apologies. <laughs> Why the sudden solemnity? It would certainly not be the first time one has been interrupted on your account. Story time. As a youngling, yes. you did so love to scurry around the place while one's attention was monopolized by mechanisms. You were especially drawn to a certain implement one had made. Oh, what was it? What was it? It sounds delightful. What was it? Oh no, here she goes again. This could spell trouble for Ganyu. <laughs> Catching. It's story oh. time. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Cloud Retainer. I just remembered there's something I must attend to. I should be going. Ah. Oh, why the sudden haste? With the Yuhang present, why not settle this matter here and now? Uh, n no. It's something very important. In fact, I must see Lady Ningguang about it immediately. N Ningguang's right A here. matter so pressing that you must find Ningguang in person? She's right here. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yes. Ningguang and I have different scopes of work, you see, and Ganyu has to report to both of us, respectively. It's indeed not easy for her. But I want to know what it was. 
Lady Kuching is trying to help me. Ah. Yes, that's right. I'm very sorry, everyone. I will take my leave. Okay. Bye. Huh. Gone already. That child, she has always been easily ruffled. One can sympathize, however. It is no simple thing to be a secretary. Nearly every matter in Liyue Harbor, momentous or trivial, passes through Ganyu's diligent hands. I'm doing good, Teal. But Hope even you're doing as good. an adeptus, she must never neglect her own health, lest she fall prone to exhaustion. Ganyu's cue when she Ganyu falls asleep. Ganyu is an assiduous worker. Apt to foregoing food and rest once she is busy. Yeah. Please make sure she eats and sleeps properly whenever you see her. I'll try. I will. Ganyu has always been a great asset to us. Her health is a priority, so I will take good care of her. The Yuhang, reliable as ever. <laughs> it was indeed a wise decision to leave Liyue Harbor to you. You mean Ningguang? We will certainly strive to live up to your expectations. As for these edibles... Hmm, they do look delectable indeed. Oof. You may leave them here. Shanha shall bring these into one's abode, and one shall pass them on to Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper once they have made their return. I meant Teal's food. This firework has an intriguing design. One must conduct a thorough study of it. And one also wants to hear what Shenha has learned in Liyue Harbor. What are you eating, Teal? Huh? Yes, I have many interesting stories to tell. Really? Let us chat while one scrutinizes this device. Shenha, I like stories. Story time. We could have story time later. You'll continue your research even during Lantern, right? No. This is a festive season, after all. <laughs> One has long been living secluded in the mountains, and no longer observes the holidays. Worry not. One shall take appropriate care of oneself. Rest is crucial. If one is too devoted to one's research and falls ill, one shall be in no fit state to test the devices personally. Really that important to test it yourself? Yes. Of course. As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. Mama Bird gets it. If one spends all that time working on a machine, yet forgets to test the outcome, hmm, that would be akin to a chef who never tries his own food, no? I love that comparison. It is unwise to put the cart before the horse. Ah, <sighs> enough idle chatter, everyone. One must go and continue one's research. Come, Shenha, this way. But... But I thought maybe Shenha would come enjoy the festival with us. Try their own food? Mm, that would be kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, of course you caught on to that one quickly. It's food related. Cloud Retainer sure does know a lot about gadgets and cooking. Though, she can be a bit strange sometimes. But then again, she is an Adeptus. That's the wisdom of an Adeptus. She takes good care of those around her. Though she lives in seclusion, she also manages to bring everyone together. A hermit who's more social than most living in society. <laughs> what an interesting character. Traveler, Paimon, let's head to Wangshu Inn. Perhaps we'll find the Conqueror of Demons there. My sulky boy! We're gonna find him! Yes! Yes! Hello, Ventus! I will redeem as we teleport. Let's ask Hi, Virgil Det where the Conqueror of Demons may be. Why do I have to ask? <laughs> His name is Baiju. Excuse you. <laughs> Thank 
you for the hydrate and the posture check, Ventus. Appreciate you. Kiss, kiss. Dr. Baiju, here are the herbs. I've picked lots of them. Good job, Chi-Chi. Splendid. Let me pack up and then we can be on our way. Hey, you guys. What are you doing? Dr. Baiju wanted herbs. So I came to collect herbs. Lots of them. And Dr. Baiju came too. Oh, that was nice of him to come with you. Traveler. Paimon. Oh, and Lady Kaching. It's a pleasure to see you all. We're here stocking up more herbs. Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs out of digestive herbs during the festival seasons. He says herbs with an H. Right just around the corner. I thought you should get prepared. He says it with an H. We came all this way to collect some herbs, and we've picked quite the assortment. We'll be on our way back to the pharmacy once the herbs are sorted. I certainly didn't expect to see the Yuhang all the way out here. I have some business to attend to here. Sorry, oh, your Wi-Fi is being difficult, Ventus. It's Uncooperative internet to sucks. Celebrate lantern right. And you're still running errands. Hard working as always. You're also I running errands. The sentiment, Dr. Baiju. I'm just doing my job. Kaching and the Traveler are very busy. And we are busy too. Everyone, keep it up. Aww. Chi Chi being wholesome. You keep it up too, Chi Chi. Give you head pats if I could, but I don't have an emote for that. Right. Thank you, Chi Chi. Wants to head pat here any longer. Take care, you two. Uh, um, three. Traveler, let's go find Virgildet. So we need to request head pats from Mihoyo so that we can head pat Tiki and also so that we can pet the cats and dogs. We need these things. Ah, Lady Kuching, what a surprise. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm looking for my sulky no, boy. Thank you. I'm just wondering if you might know where the Conqueror of Demons is. Hi, Dev. Oh, we never inquire about Xiao's whereabouts, but if he's here, he would be up on the rooftop terrace. Please feel free to go up and have a look. Okay. You're just in time, Def. We're looking for our favorite sulky boy. We gotta go up. Hope you're doing good. Zhao, yeah, where are you? He doesn't seem to be here. Perhaps we came at the wrong time. We should just call him! I keep saying this. We should just call him. Maybe he's out battling somewhere again. Let's leave the gifts with the owner and ask her to... No! How can I help? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Not that scary, Paimon. Where did you come from? Were you... <laughs> Were you here the whole time, Xiao? Were you here the whole time? Just waiting to make a dramatic entrance? You would do that. It's okay, that's why I love you. Yes. Ha! Hello. I am Kuching. Yuhong of the Liyue Chising. The Yuhong. Yes. I saw you when we battled Osile. You are fierce with your blade. Compliments from Xiao. Some lantern right presents. See? There's lots of tasty food. Hmm. <laughs> Don't waste your delicacies on me. He only wants almond tofu and a delicious salad. Or whatever it's called. The cheesing specifically prepared them for you, Zhao. Catching made you nice things. Don't be mean. <sighs> Come on. Come on! This is my duty. You don't have to thank me. 
but we want Karma to. Karma is harmful to the human body. Even if you have a stronger constitution than most. You should keep your distance from me when you can afford to. Gonna hug you, Zhao. Hey, wait! Are you leaving? Get back here. Aw, oh, come on! Lantern Rite is almost here! Don't you want to take a break? Teal knows what it's called, satisfying salad. Yes! Teal gets it. Now come here and get your hug, you sulky boy. Let's go watch like the fireworks. I before, I have no liking for crowds. You promised me fireworks! I must remain vigilant of evil attacks. Especially during the holidays. I will continue my patrol as usual. You know where you can see a lot of the land from and be vigilant for evil attacks from? That bridge in front of the waterfall. You promised me fireworks! You promised. Don't make me abuse my calling you. <laughs> you should also exercise caution. And if there's any danger... I'm gonna call you. Yep, I know. Fireworks are real dangerous, Xiao. You know... I might have to call you from the city near the fireworks. Just saying, you, you could just watch them from me from outside the city. Otherwise, I might have to get too close to them. Good. Good. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> well, he called our bluff. Yeah. We're gonna call his. I can call your bluff back. Try me. <laughs> Maybe. Only if he wants to. He wants to. All right. We've completed our visits with all the Adepti. Let's take a break downstairs before we head back into the city. Oh no. What should we do? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, Lady Kuching! Lady Kuching! I'm so glad to see you here. Uh, Fang Yi? What's wrong? What are you doing here? Lady Kuching, let me explain. I had rearranged the fireworks layout and expanded the range to Qingsa Village just like you requested. Okay. My people finished setting up the fireworks and we left someone in charge to launch them for the show. Okay. But... <sighs> The person we left in charge came back shortly after and reported that all the fireworks in Chingsa village had been stolen. Sounds like a I job for Zhao. reported the situation to the Millileth and had another batch of fireworks made to be transported to Chingsa village under escort. However, everyone's short-handed during Lantern Rite. The Millileth are already stretched thin and don't even have enough people to fill their regular patrols. They can't spare anyone to look after the fireworks for us. Hey, Zhao. We don't have many materials left. So if the second batch of fireworks gets stolen as well, we're done for. So, I was thinking to go to Chingsa Village and have a look first. Which is when I bumped into you, Lady Kuching. What should we do? It sounds like According I should get to too Ministry close to the fireworks. Affairs, the number of guards on patrol has to be doubled and rotated continuously during Lantern Rite. They must perform these extra measures in addition to their standard daily affairs. The only manpower they can muster during the festival would be the emergency response units. But those special units are intended only for backup. There are not many of them and they cannot perform prolonged guard duty. If we wish to make use of them, we'll need to resolve the problem quickly. Hmm. Maybe we can ask the Adepti for help. This would be a piece of cake for someone like Cloud Retainer or Xiao. That's what I was saying. <sighs> No, that would only make us look incompetent. No, it wouldn't. I'll handle this, Pungyi. Oh my god. Kitching. We're we're helping. That's right! We can take care of this together. Thanks, you two. Actually, I have an idea. Let me make some arrangements. Okay. Pungyi, go back to Liyua Harbor and get the fireworks ready. Then meet me in Chingsa Village. Traveler, come with me. Let's ask around to see what happened. He already told us what happened. People came and stole the fireworks. <laughs> huh. uh. That's all right. We'll go investigate. Oh, that's a lot farther than I thought it was. Um... Oh! 
Oh, how could a whole batch of fireworks just vanish like that? They were stolen? Hello, Granny Roshin. We'd like to know more about the recent fireworks theft. Oh, Lady Kaching. I can hardly believe you came personally to investigate. It's no trouble at all. Please, tell us what happened. Well, when they brought the fireworks, the children in the village were very excited. They were all gathered round, watching the area for a long time. The workers piled up the fireworks and said they would go confirm the locations to set them off. That's when they left the village. Oh, now let me remember. Ah, oh, yes. I recall that they left the fireworks in an open area just next to a house down the old road. But the very next day, all the fireworks were nowhere to be seen. The person in charge of the fireworks was so anxious that they went straight back to the city to find a solution. Did the kids take oh, the fireworks? The villagers here are worried too. The fireworks missing can only mean that there are thieves about. There are elderly and kids in the village, you know? Although the Milliveth are stationed here, no one dares to go out anymore. I understand. Please help reassure the people in the village and tell them everything's going to be fine with the Milliveth standing guard. Traveler. Let's go investigate the place where the fireworks were stolen. She said the kids were really excited and watching the fireworks be set out. I wonder if the kids took the fireworks. <laughs> Dork, please, place. Sarah. The fireworks were stolen here! The thieves must think there are mostly elderly and children living in Chinksa village. Dork, please. All too weak to defend Stop. themselves. Otherwise, they would never dare commit such a blatant crime. This is absolutely awful. We cannot let such a matter go unpunished. Let's see if we can find any clues here before we plan our next step. All right. Go. Oh. I'll take whatever that is. Huh. Clues, huh? Looks like they marked them for us. Huh? Are these footprints? Yes. Let's see where they lead. Huh. More footprints? footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. Gonna track down some people who took some fireworks. Looks like there was two of them. Continue here. Let's keep following them. Maybe. Maybe two of them. There are two sets of footprints. Implying that there are two people. Two children, mayhaps. Sir, that thought please. fireworks this were cool. This is all just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> a misunderstanding, you oh. say? If so, then tell me. Why are you hiding here? It was the treasure yes, orders? Good, sir. This really is just a misunderstanding. <laughs> I would never dream of getting anywhere near the Feiyun Commerce Guild shipment. Something's happening over there. Let's go have a look. Singcha! Oh! The Feiyun Commerce Guild? It must be. Please, save your breath. Oh, Let's and you this fellow. Tightly now, we mustn't let him get away. Not too tightly, Yes, young Sincha. master. Uh, I was sure it was an evil spirit. Turns out it's the treasure hoarders again. Why would you Sincha think it's an evil Tribune. spirit? Hello? Hi, what, uh, what are you guys up to? Well, hello, dear traveler. Hi. Our fates cross once again. They do. What brings you here? You. Uh, excuse me. Please, tell me what is happening here. Ah, yes. Allow me to explain. It so happens that every year during the Lantern Rite, the Feiyun Commerce Guild transports supplies to various villages outside of Liyue Harbor. That's nice family of you. Family rules stipulate that the supplies must be personally escorted by a family member. 
because my older brother went last year, the duties have fallen to me this time around. Oh, so what's Chang Yun doing here? Chang Yun happened to be visiting, so I cordially invited him to join us for the journey. What's Chang Yun doing here? Chang Yun and Zingcha are inseparable. Why wouldn't Chang Yun be here? <laughs> They're like attached at the hip. These two boys. They're precious. Oh, I see. Um, but why did Chang Yun say he thought there was an evil spirit? That's what I want to know. I see that you are not familiar with the story of old. What? It is said that fireworks were once called firecrackers and were used to ward off evil spirits and the like. Huh. In ancient times, Liyue was plagued by evil spirits. As people gathered together to celebrate the annual festival, the yang energy would intensify, and evil spirits were thus attracted to the fringes of the city by the strong scent. Liyue Harbor was under the gracious protection of Rex Lapis, so the spirits dared not enter the city. However, they still lingered near the city gates and pestered the passers-by. In order to drive the spirits away, people made firecrackers and lit them near the city gates. The flashes of light and loud noise successfully drove the spirits whence they came. That's interesting. This festival is now known as the Lantern Rite. It was my intention to travel around to see if there are any malicious spirits lying in wait for passers-by. Since I happened to have a shipment of goods to deliver, and our course was through the mountains, I naturally thought it best to have my thaumaturge friend traveling alongside me. Singcho said he learned the story about evil spirits from an ancient text. The text vividly describes the appearance and even the whereabouts of the spirits. Huh. That's, uh... I, I agree with these dialogue options, because uh, last year, this is definitely not the, the reasoning we were told behind Lantern Rites. It's, uh... In fact, not even remotely close to what we were told. So, I was a little bit confused. <laughs> so yeah, that makes sense that Zingxia must be leading Chang Yun along. He just wanted Chang Yun to come with him. Anyway, when we arrived at the area, Chang Yun sensed an ambush about to take place. Upon searching the area, we found a group of treasure hoarders. They tried to flee the moment we were upon them. Fortunately, I was swift enough to catch one of them. Your timing couldn't have been more fortunate. We were just preparing to send them to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. He insists the matter is merely a misunderstanding, but things seem quite clear as I see it. Good, sir. Just hear me out. Everyone knows the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Had we known it was your merchant caravan, we never would have dared to attack. The master of the Feiyun Commerce Guild is famous for his generosity and noble deeds, a, a, a true hero of the people. Uh, so, you see, this is nothing but a big misunderstanding. We, we didn't want any trouble with the guild. Your what flattery you is failing. That you were targeting someone else then. Well, who was it? I, uh, well, uh, well, just trust me. We were definitely not trying to steal your goods. Please, please believe me. Master Singcho, I would like to borrow a few of your staff to escort the thief to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. As for the bounty, we will pay you afterward. It is my humble duty to uphold justice. No remuneration shall be necessary. Come then, see that this thief is taken to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, young master, leave it to us. You heard him. Take this man over there and make sure he's secured. Tie each of his fingers separately if you have to. Keep. He's not going to pull anything under our watch. Wait a second. Please also deliver this message to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <clears throat> it's very likely that this thief is related to the recent fireworks theft in Chingsa Village. Make sure they have someone question him. Thoroughly. <laughs> so the plot thickens. Indeed it is does. Is your task clear? We mustn't disappoint the Yuong. Yes, young master, I understand. We'll be on our way. I've heard many good things about you, Master Shincho. Thank you for your assistance. I hardly lifted a finger. Think nothing of it. Everyone, my intuition tells me that there could be more than one group of treasure hoarders in this area. Yeah. More than one group? Oh, you've got quite a keen eye too, Chong Yun. During our search, I found scattered sets of footprints differing from those on the road. There may still be other treasure hoarders waiting to ambush passers-by. 
When I was chasing the treasure hoarders earlier, I noticed that they were nearly unarmed and very few in numbers. If they truly intended to ambush the Veyun Commerce Guild, they must have overestimated themselves. They said they weren't planning to ambush you guys. And we're pretty sure they were here for the fireworks. So... If you ask me, they didn't seem to be staging an ambush. But rather it appeared as if they were waiting for someone. It appears they may be the thief's accomplices. They were probably hiding here to wait for the stolen goods. What exactly are the stolen goods, if I may ask? Fireworks. Taking advantage of the elderly and children. What a loathsome group of criminals. Lady Kuching, don't fret about manpower. Chongyun, let's go lend them a hand in Chinks the village, shall we? Yeah, just leave it to us. We can handle a bunch of thieves. Thank you. That will help alleviate the crisis in Chinksa Village. Unfortunately, the footprints we were following end here. I don't know where we should go next. It seems we were only a moment away from catching all the treasure hoarders. Aww. That's okay. We'll find them. Thank you. Master Xingqiu, I'll leave Chinksa Village under your watch. Most assuredly, Lady Kuching. It's fortunate our paths crossed with those two. Mm-hmm. Always good to have some help. It's so cool to fight for justice! The thieves who stole the fireworks haven't revealed themselves yet. I'm more concerned fireworks turn to waterworks if we don't manage to track them down. See, I'm concerned that fireworks might turn into other explosive things if we don't manage to track them down. I'm kind of concerned. I'll go have a look around. Traveler, please go take a rest in Chingsa Village. Uh, no. I've troubled you enough already. I can handle the rest of this matter myself. No. Uh, Kuching, are you planning to look for clues all for yourself? Um, somehow that doesn't sound like a very good idea. Exactly. Oh, wait! You're in the Lila Chising. Why don't you ask some of your subordinates to help? Or, I don't know, maybe it's us. It's safer than investigating on your own. We could also help. I'm right here, Paimon. Yes, I agree, but we are short-handed at the moment. I can handle these trivial matters myself. This isn't the trivial. The fireworks that were transported to Chingsa Village were quite bulky. They couldn't have gone far. The way I see it, if they were clever enough, they would conceal the stolen goods somewhere and then come pick them up later. All I have to do is find out where they hid the fireworks and then return to the location with reinforcements. Don't worry. I am not reckless, and I won't carelessly alert the thieves. You can certainly trust me by now. Those aren't the things well, I'm worried about. When you put it that way. It's settled then. Traveler, Paimon, please go get some rest. I'll go find you in Chingsa Village when I'm done. I'm concerned about why they want fireworks. <laughs> and you should probably be concerned too. Okay. 8 to 12 the next day. Ding! Now where do I go? Yeah, people aren't usually stealing fireworks because they want fireworks. <laughs> They're stealing them because they want what's used to make them. Rest assured, all is quiet here in Chingsa Village. Chongyun is guarding the outside and I'm guarding the inside. Not a problem in sight. Good. I've made some progress in my investigation as well. Oh? What are you planning? Is it time to strike? I want to know the plan, too. Let's go! Traveler, Paimon, you are just in time. Good. I looked everywhere, and I found some clues regarding the treasure hoarders. Besides wagon tracks, I also came across bits and pieces of fireworks packaging scattered on the road. 
Following those clues, I was able to finally locate the missing fireworks. But there was no sign of treasure hoarders. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, that makes sense. They wanted to hide the stuff and come back for it later, like you said. No, I think they might be just overly careless. I seem to have found the location where they've been stashing all their stolen goods. They must have thought it was well hidden and deemed it unnecessary to post any guards. The amount of fireworks they've amassed there is astonishing. Not only did they steal the ones in Chingsa village, but also from other locations too. They've gathered all the stolen goods there. I've asked the Millilith on guard at Chingsa village to report this to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. They will organize a search around that warehouse. Now that the Millilith is involved, you don't need to handle this yourself anymore! The treasure hoarders are notoriously cunning, and they may even have lookouts. If they notice anything suspicious, they will move the fireworks and our single lead will be lost. I have to keep an eye on the situation. Uh, you're not really thinking that you can take all of them yourself, are you? I mean, she probably no, could. I am not that reckless. I just want to investigate the case thoroughly. But now that I have your help, the idea is feasible. I definitely could. So you really are considering it? We we can take him, Paimon. Okay. It'll be fine. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go. Paimon's always so concerned. We'll be fine. Bye, Zinka. This way. We can make it. We'll just have to climb a bit. As long as we don't get stuck. Why isn't Zhao here? I thought we were going to get Zhao to come with us. Oh, that's right. Catching thought it would make them think that we're incompetent. Nah. Oh. These treasure hoarders must have returned to check on the stolen fireworks. Please hide yourselves. Let's wait and see what happens. What? Why was there no voice for the first line? Hey, boss. You think we have enough fireworks now? <laughs> Are you kidding? This ain't nowhere near enough. Do I win? Uh, but, boss, if we want more fireworks, we're gonna have to steal them in the city. Ain't gonna be easy. Hmm. You got a point. All right. Then we steal those things that make a real loud bang but don't light up real pretty. What do they call them? Ah, yeah. Firecrackers. Those will do the job. All we need to do is make some real ruckus. Why? As long as we distract the Millilith, the other hoarders can do their end of the job. You get it? Are you gonna steal the Ming Zhao lantern? <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. We're gonna hit the jackpot this time. Uh, but, uh, boss, all our boys are out scouting around. Don't you think we need a few more to guard the stash? Hey, don't worry about it. The Millilith are swamped with lantern right. They won't have time to come out here. All right, move it, boys. Just a few more batches and we'll be... Uh-oh. Hey, boss, we got trouble. Huh? What Did happened? Did they see us? The jig is up, boss. The, the Millilith are coming, and it seems they've already caught our scouts. If one of the boys hadn't set off a firework to warn us, we would have been completely blindsided. Well done. Boss, let's run. But how did the Millilith find out about us? And so quickly, too. Because you're dumb. Ah, fine. Leave the fireworks and let's split. They won't be catching us. It's time to make our move. Ready? Yes. Let's go! Drop your weapons and surrender immediately. Gonna ah, get ya. Get out of my way! You got a death witch or something? I'll no, but I think you, you do. Huh? Wait a second. Your lady cut you. You are. Nothing, nothing so about you me. Do recognize me then. I'll say it one more time. Drop your weapon and surrender. All right, so you want to do this the hard way. We, we surrender you, Hung. 
Now, I want some answers. What were you planning to do with the stockpile of fireworks? Distract you to steal the Ming Zhao lantern? Just... Do I win? Tell the truth, and I might go easy on you. We... Uh, fine. We were gonna smuggle these fireworks into the city and ignite them during the Lantern Rite's opening ceremony. The fireworks are really bright and loud and would definitely raise some havoc. We were gonna rob the city while everyone's distracted by the explosions. But, uh, we didn't seem to have enough fireworks, so... Oh? So you mean you had more than one group of thieves stealing fireworks? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Originally, I had all the hoarders out stealing fireworks, but then one of them got caught by the Feiyun Commerce Guild and was arrested. I really didn't get it. Why did the Feiyun Commerce Guild get involved? We were only stealing from the government. Um? Uh, what I meant is, uh, <laughs> um? well, I was worried that the guy who got arrested would rat us out. Who would have guessed we'd end up running into you like that? Hey! Just say that the Millilith were coming too? Yeah, that's right. I wonder how the Millilith even found out we had dispatched scouts. They somehow captured almost all of them. If someone hadn't alerted us, we would have all been caught. And now you're all caught anyway. Well, you did get caught. Well, uh, yeah. It appears that the Millilith managed to get the captured treasure hoarder to talk. There may still be other treasure hoarders in the area. We should head elsewhere just to be safe. Traveler, please escort the treasure hoarders back to Chingsa Village and hand them over to the Millilith stationed there. I'll be there once I am finished inspecting this place. Okay. Yes, you too. I'll see you in Chingsa Village. All right. Back we go. So, they weren't trying to do something as grand as stealing the Ming Zhao Lantern. But, they were going to go around and rob the entire city, apparently. It just seems like a lot of work. They'd have to plan everything out and go to all the different houses. You would think they would have, you know, organized, like, one easy target. <sighs> this is the last batch of fireworks that I can get. Please ensure that there will be no further problems. Don't worry. The Yu Hong will be taking care of this personally. And with us on guard, I assure you it'll be safe. Yes, indeed. Oh, it appears the Traveler has returned. And with two others, no doubt. They're the ones that were stealing the fireworks. It's definitely dangerous to infiltrate an enemy area like that. If only I was there to fight alongside you. It's okay, Chong Yun. We were fine. Come now. We both know the Traveler is most capable. <laughs> but who would have known we performed such a noble deed? We had arrested the treasure hoarder earlier by mere happenstance. Yeah, talk about a coincidence. It seems that justice always finds its way into the world. It is in fateful moments that miracles are born. So it was you! You horrible brutes are the ones who stole the fireworks? Just the sight of you two makes my blood boil. Please, calm down. I doubt they'll be causing any more trouble now that they're in custody. Thank you very much, Traveler. But may I ask, why has Lady Kuching not returned with you? Oh, she's doing Lady some other stuff. She was worried there'd be more treasure hoarders lurking about. She wanted to conduct a full search of the area. We should probably help. Oh, see. Yes, Lady Kuching is quite thorough. A squad of Millilith came by just now. I believe they were sent by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I also heard that most of the fleeing treasure hoarders have already been apprehended. Hopefully that will be the end of this matter. Anyway, you may leave these treasure hoarders to us. I will escort them back to the city and make sure they stand trial with the others. And thus, our chapter has finally reached its timely conclusion. I am partial to fireworks myself, but I'm afraid we must also be leaving now. Okay. Huh? Why the hurry to get back to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? 
Oh, don't tell us you have work to do, too. I mean, he probably does have work to do, too. But also, he'd probably like to get back to Liyue and enjoy the fireworks with Chong Yun. Inevitably, affairs do become busier around festive seasons. But no need to worry. We have many attendants to assist us. And there's always Chong Yun, too. Huh? You mean you're assigning more work to me? It but of course. It's only my duty as your dearest friend. <laughs> work before play, as they say. I'm sure you understand. Oh, all right. I suppose. As the saying goes, many hands make light work. As long as work is assigned to the right people, everything will proceed without a hitch. If you ask me, I think speaking eloquently is just a guise for assigning work to everybody else. It is. All right, all right. <laughs> I shall treat you to a meal after the work is done. Farewell, traveler. Those two are cute. Good friends. Much cute. By the way, do you know when Lady Kuching will be back, traveler? Nope. There are not many fireworks in the second batch that I brought, so... I'm worried that we can't achieve the show's desired effect. I can make some. I was hoping we could somehow retrieve the stolen fireworks. Huh? Hey! Did you hear that explosion? Maybe it was fireworks. <gasps> or maybe more treasure orders! Or it could be Kaching trying to get us to come and help. Firework soccer balls. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> like, fun. But then when you start to think about it more, that sounds real dangerous. <laughs> we could take the stairs. We could. Or... We could climb the wall. I saw fireworks. Oops. What did I do? Hey, Kuching! You accidentally lit fireworks. Also, where are the treasure hoarders? Uh, uh huh. What treasure hoarders? What? We heard an explosion and thought it might be treasure hoarders sending signals to one another again. Uh, I see. Sorry, that's not the case. I saw a few sticks of fireworks on the ground, so I fiddled with them, and... Sure enough, it seems... I accidentally lit the fuse. How do you accidentally? Before I react, the fireworks were... <clears throat> already up in the air. How? How do you accidentally catch in? So no enemies? Whew, well that's good. We thought you might have been surrounded by bad guys! <laughs> I apologize, I didn't mean to alarm you. Fortunately, there are no more treasure hoarders in the area. It seems this matter has finally come to an end. Great! The case of the stolen fireworks is finally solved! Good thing we were able to get to the bottom of it! Otherwise, those beautiful fireworks would have gone to waste, and the whole show would be ruined! By the way, Kuching, you're the one in charge of the fireworks show, which means you know the best viewing spot, right? Me. Yes, of course. The best view should be from the Jade Chamber. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten my promise. But first, I have to drop by the Ministry of Civil Affairs and close this case. Leave the rest of this to me. You've already been a great help. Why don't you go for a walk around the city and I'll meet you when I'm done? Okay, but we'll be waiting for you. Yes, I'll be there. Zhao would probably like watching fireworks from the Jade Chamber. It's quiet up there. really is super busy. I'll meet you when I am done. How many times have we heard that already? Don't be mean, Paimon. Now Paimon gets why Lady Ningguang is so worried about Kuching. If she keeps working like this, she really will miss the lantern right. Time to find Zhongli. Oh, yeah! We said we would meet him! And we've even collected a few opinions about taking a rest from work. Zhongli said he'd wait for us at third round knockout. Let's go find him! Zhongli's gonna help us make a story. Zhongli tells great stories. Zhongli.
We have material. Now you can tell us a story. Hey! Is that who Paimon thinks it is? Yes, you are quite right. I shall take your wise words to heart, sir. They will certainly be most helpful in my next performance. You are welcome, Miss Yun. Your willingness to hear suggestions is indeed impressive. It's no wonder your opera performance has only been getting better. No, I'm afraid that's not always the case. Though I am still young, I can be quite arrogant at times. I do not always accept advice so readily. But your wisdom has spoken to me. Shen Li! We're back! Ah, you've returned. Hmm? You are also acquaintances? Yes, we sure are! I want to play with Shang Li's ponytail. I want to. Also, yes, we've met. Not everyone gets the privilege of meeting someone so knowledgeable and discreet as Mr. Zhang Li. You are indeed well connected, traveler. Mm -hmm. I am flattered, Miss Yun. It is an honor for an ordinary person like myself to have met the traveler. You're not wow. ordinary. Did he really just say that? <laughs> I wouldn't dare reveal his true identity. Would I, though? Would I? I'm sure you must have matters to discuss. I have an appointment with Xinyan, so if you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Yun. Bye-bye. See you around, Yun Jin! Okay, Zhongli, story time. So, tell me, what have you learned from your trip? I learned a lot. Keqing's bad at taking breaks, and we caught some fireworks thieves. Stuff. Hmm, I see. Well, Traveler, what do you make of all their opinions? I think we can weave them into a story. Yeah, Paimon already started creating her own story on the way here. Oh no. The goal is to convince Keqing to rest more with just a simple story, right? If that's the case, then Paimon thinks we can use food as our theme. Of course you do. Who doesn't like delicious food? And when it comes to eating, everyone has an opinion. It's the perfect angle for our story. Classic Paimon wisdom. <laughs> Paimon knows just what to write. Sure you Let's do. Let's say there's a chef in Lua who's very talented at cooking. He opens a massive restaurant at Liyue Harbor, and lots of customers come every day, so he's always super busy. Then, uh, well, uh, how should the story go from there? I thought you had the story ready. I thought you knew exactly how the story was gonna go. You just wanted to put food into it. So... Something something, the chef is getting tired because he doesn't know how to take breaks, and he ends up accidentally, uh, like, doing a real big bad, like cross-contamination. He accidentally does a cross-contamination. If you don't know what cross-contamination is, TLDR, you don't cut lettuce with the same knife that you used to cut raw chicken that would be cross-contamination <laughs> Ooh, that's good uh, but wait didn't we say he's really good at cooking that wouldn't make sense actually it makes perfect sense because if he's exhausted he might make a critical mistake like that also i thought it was supposed to be your story there's no need to jump to the conclusion why don't you elaborate more on the chef well, I what tried to. about the chef? You mean both good and bad things? It's called a yes. dynamic character, Paimon. To gain one's empathy, there must be familiarity. I would like to understand this chef character of ours a little deeper. Hmm. Paimon didn't think this far. Uh, why don't you take it from here? Yes, people do have a very big problem with, uh accidentally cross-contaminating. In most cases, it ends up working out fine in the end because, you know, everything's being cooked. But 
Let's say that you cut up raw chicken with a knife, didn't clean it in between, and then chopped up your romaine next with that same knife that still has raw chicken juice on it. You would have a very bad time. You would make very good friends with the toilet and quite possibly die. Yes, it can really be that serious. Don't use the same knives you use for one thing, for another thing, without washing it in between. Don't do that. <laughs> Since you've spoken with others familiar with Kuching, why don't we integrate their thoughts into your story? That will allow it to become all the more convincing. Um, okay. Let Paimon think. Hmm. What did Cloud Retainer say? I also have many different knives for different purposes. I, uh, I need to get a new set of knives, though, because things happened and somebody else washed them. And uh, it's a long story, a long, angry story, and I need new knives. As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. <laughs> that was quite poetic, Paimon. Bravo. <laughs> oh, now Paimon remembers. Cloud Retainer said that if she spends all her efforts working on a machine with no time to test the outcome, then she'd be like a chef who doesn't get to try their own food. Problems are bound to pop up. Well, this one actually wasn't your fault, Zodiac. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. Think back a little further. Yes, it is most unwise to put the cart before the horse. Uh-huh, that's exactly what she said. So, let's make that happen to the chef in the story. He's great at cooking, but he can't enjoy his own food. Hmm. But there must be a reason why he doesn't partake in the delicacies he makes. Right! It's because he's super busy! He receives the customers, he takes the orders, and he does all the cooking himself. The more recent knives that we've thrown away that were just basic steak knives are at least partially because of the hard water but also because they weren't being properly rinsed. The knives I'm talking about were washed with a scrubbing pad. And that's why they were ruined. My nice knives, not the steak knives. <laughs> that should keep him busy enough. He's so busy every day that he doesn't even have time to take a break, which obviously also means he doesn't have time to eat. Uh, hard water is... Most people have water softeners, so you don't have to deal with hard water. But hard water is really bad for literally everything. It damages things. If you've ever been, like, to somebody's house or something, or had hard water yourself, if you get a glass wet, as an example, and then let it dry it will have, like, white stuff all over it. That's the minerals that are in the water that's getting dried onto the glass. And it's actually really bad for everything. <laughs> it's bad. Hey, it's just a story. Besides, it's supposed to leave a powerful impression. Kind of like fireworks. Yes. The chef is unwilling to delegate tasks to others. He's overconfident about his own cooking abilities and tries to accomplish everything on his own. Paimon already kind of feels sorry for him. Many hands make light work. Oh, right! That's what the chef doesn't understand. And there's another saying. Um, what was it again? Oh, yeah! A rested worker is an efficient worker. That's what Yampi said. Yep. So, the chef gets busier and busier to the point where he can't stand up straight anymore and he has big, dark circles under his eyes. 
The customers tell him to take a few days off to get some rest, but the chef won't listen. His judgment is clouded by the chores before him. He is oblivious to mountains in the distance, the bigger picture. Eventually, the chef falls ill, and his cooking becomes far worse than when he started. The customers can't convince him to rest, and they don't like his cooking anymore. So they stop coming to his restaurant. Yup. That's called tough love. Rest is always of great importance. Although we may come across various difficulties in our lives, pushing ourselves is never a good modus operandi. The story is quite simple, without embellishment, yet deeply meaningful. If our listener is sensible, then she should quickly grasp the meaning contained within. You're saying Paima made a good story? Sincerity can allow one to see clearly, and earnest advice can provide sound direction. The story is indeed good. Charlie the Yuhang is an adroit leader. I am certain she will understand the message you are trying to convey. Really? Score one for Paimon! Given that the case involving the treasure hoarders has come to an end, she is inevitably tired. Now will be the ideal moment to speak with her. If all goes well, I think your story will be a success. Hear that? Zhang Li says Paimon's story has what it takes. If anyone knows a good story, he does. Quick, let's go find Kuching. It's okay. We can just let Paimon completely ignore the fact that we basically wrote the story for her. <laughs> Paimon wanted to make a story with food, so we made a story with food. And Paimon took all the credit. <laughs> the traveler doesn't talk. The matter has finally come to an end, but we mustn't lower our guard. Increase patrols around Chingsa village and coordinate our people at other fireworks locations to prevent any further theft. Yes, Lady Kuching. And by the way, the Ministry has requested the Millilith to increase security along travel routes. How is that proceeding? It's all been taken care of. However, due to various reasons, there are still some blind spots in the city. Have we drafted a new patrol map? Please, give me a copy and I'll look it over when I have time. Understood. The patrol map is still being drafted, but it will be ready soon. Okay. Also, I... Oh, excuse me, Lady Kuching? Your friends are here. Hi, Kuching! Still working? Oh, yes, but I thought we'd meet at the Jade Chamber. Why have you come here? Because you told us to walk around, but also I was specifically looking for you. Yeah, we walked around the city just like you told us to. It's very nice, but it would be even nicer if you could join us. Do you still have work to do? It's nothing urgent, really, just some trivial matters. But I wish to get it done as soon as possible. You can leave it to us, Lady Kuching. You've been working hard for a long time, so you should get some rest. If I'm not mistaken, the Traveler is here to remind you to take a break. Yup, sure am. That's right! Something so important that we must speak with you personally, right now! It's story time. Oh, really? In that case... Jingchung, I'll let you take charge. Thank you. Understood. I'll handle things from here. <sighs> Traveler and Paimon, let's go to the Jade Chamber. The view there is nicer, and it's much more private. Perfect for talking. Oh, they brought us up here. Well, here we are. What was it you wanted to talk about? We have a story to tell you. Sit down, it's story time. Yeah, we want to tell you a story from this beautiful view. What do you say? All right, I'm listening. So it turns out we just heard some big news into that. A very talented chef is in trouble. Ah. Uh. Oh, is the chef from Liyue? From Liu Li Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk, perhaps? No, no. Uh, the chef is from Mons 
that. Yeah, and he's really, really good. The point was for this he to be a story, a Paimon. Right next to the city gate. He was super efficient, and his cooking was really delicious. So his restaurant had been getting more and more popular. In fact, he became so busy that the worker from the forest next door asked him, Sir, why don't you find someone to help you in the restaurant? But the chef brushed the idea aside, saying that he's the only one that can turn top quality ingredients into world class dishes. No one could help him. Hmm. Well, confidence is an essential trait for a good chef. He must be an excellent cook. That's what everyone was saying. But surprisingly, after just six months, no one would dine in his restaurant anymore. Hmm? Shocking, right? Do you have any guess why? Hmm. Maybe the chef had fallen ill, or... Wrong answer! You tell her, Traveler! <laughs> you kinda skipped all of the part for her to figure that out, Paimon. He was too stubborn like you. Ding, ding, ding! Yep, it's because the chef was too stubborn. He would keep himself busy every day and try to make the most delicious dishes for all his guests. But he forgot that he's only human and needs time to eat and rest. He was so busy that he didn't even have time to eat and couldn't even taste his own cooking. He was unwilling to seek help, even when he's tired, because he thought he's the only one capable of cooking the best dishes. Eventually, the people around him felt like they couldn't help him anyway. So they just left. And because he had forgotten the original taste of his dishes, he was no longer a good chef. In the end, his restaurant had no choice but to close for good. Uh, oh. I see. He's overly confident, which disappoints the people around him, and he's so impatient that he ends up losing sight of his original purpose. <sighs> so... That's the whole story. Oh, um, yep, that's the whole thing. Sorry, it's not a very good story. Hey, didn't you just say that Paima made a great story? Except you didn't tell the story that you told back there. Did you come up with that story? Yes, sorry Paimon misled you. Oh, no, we just, uh... <laughs> hmm. How should I describe it? The story is very simple, and I suppose the ending isn't really surprising. That's kind of the point. Think before you act and don't overexert yourself. Mm -hmm. Of course, I understand these concepts in theory, but... When tasks come to me personally, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. It's as if your judgment is clouded. Yes. Up in the mountains, we can see the mist in the clouds. Out in the ocean, we can see fog on the sea. That's why, from time to time, we need to examine where we are, remove the fog, and feel our heart. So, how do you feel now, Kuching? How do I feel? Hmm. Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. That way, I could finally take the opportunity to walk around the city, see the people I wish to see, and watch the fireworks. Thinking back... I used to be even more impatient. My colleagues would resign after just three months of working with me. You're completely right. It's important to know your boundaries. Uh, but I am getting better. You can tell, can't you? Kind of. And I did make a promise with you, didn't I? We agreed to enjoy the fireworks show together this year. So... Fireworks time? Happy Lantern Rite, Traveler and Paimon. I'm very happy to be here and enjoy this moment together with you. I've poured all my best effort into this fireworks show. And now that we're here, I sincerely hope you will enjoy it. I feel very fortunate to be right here, enjoying the fireworks and enjoying the view of Liu Harbor. Happy Lantern Right. Happy Lantern Right. <laughs> 
Happy Lantern Rite. And... Thank you. You're welcome. I know, what about Zhao? Where is my sulky boy? He's supposed to watch the fireworks with me every year. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. I'm excited. Taylor make it for me. Said it's an imported style. Well, do you like it? It's pretty. Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> it's time. Traveler, please enjoy the grand finale of this year's Lantern Rite. The fireworks show. Oh. Hey, check you out. Looking pretty fancy. Excuse you. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with Go this away. one. the wholesome moments. <laughs> Did you see that? Way over there, a firework that looks just like a pig! So it does. Asia has watching too? And Mama Bird. our sulky boy and he's smiling he just can't let anybody see him smiling <laughs> dr baiju sorry to trouble you again this year <laughs> no trouble at all Standing next to our queen. <laughs> Yay! We got to watch the fireworks with our queen. Did we get the outfit for Ningguang yet? No, because I think I still need a currency that I should have unlocked now. Yeah, we still need a couple currencies. But I think we can get them now. We had to do this. So that we could make more fireworks. So we did all of these ones. We have to do this one. Um... Oh, it's just telling me. Okay, I gotta get the gadget. 
spot. At here? Maybe? Oh, up here. In a trade war, the perfect hunter leaves no trace. We didn't get to see the Ming Zhao lantern go off, though. We're supposed to see the Ming Zhao lantern. Let's see. So we have to make all of these. All right. So let's see. Let's go. How do we turn it again? There we go. Okay, and we can do So this will increase all of the adjacent ones. Do this. All right. Do it again. Um Slightly. Well, we want to wait because it's on a medium flame right now. So let's switch to color. And. Oh, wait, but we, we're almost completely out of en endurance. Hmm. We might need to do this differently. Okay. So. Oh, I think I read it wrong. I did, didn't I? I thought it was saying I only had 10 left. Never mind. We were fine. Okay. So, we're still on a medium. So, let's go... How do I move? There we go. Okay. So, moderately or greatly... Greatly is probably fine. We've got plenty of room. Alright. Low flame. Good. That's the lowest one, right? Yeah. Cancel. Um. So, we can do... Slightly. Ah, it went too far. Okay, so... So this would increase spread and size. Spread. So this would probably be perfect. All right. Still a medium flame. Ha! It keeps going past. Okay, we might have to just do them individually. Do one here. And we're still on a medium flame. So... Spread will then go to height and color. <laughs> I know, it's one sliver every time. Um, if we go here, we'll get size and spread. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. We still have a medium flame. So we can do spread with moderate. I think that'll be fine. Moderate with a moderate bonus. Oh. Well, that wasn't much. Low flame. So let's go to color then. Ugh. Fine. Whatever. And we still have a low flame. Uh, 
Oh, whoops. Turn. There we go. Okay. So that's as good as we're going to get, I think. Hopefully that's good enough. Um, so we have a low flame. So what do we have now? We can increase the firepower and decrease the firepower. That's useful. Yeah, random flame for three to six just seems like a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so I think this will be good. So that was probably a moderate increase. Still a low flame. I'm worried that moderate is going to be too much. Yeah, it's just a little too much, so slight wouldn't have been enough. Are they ever going to give me a bonus flame, or...? Of course. Of course it was just short. Right. Hopefully that's good enough. Oh, this one has five. Okay. It has color and height. So what's the new one? Okay. will cover spread and color. All right. Low flame, moderate. And we're still on a low flame. Perfect. Almost perfect. We were slightly over on one of them. Well, wait, let's work on the other ones first. There we go. Okay. 
Ah, oh, we only have enough to do a slight increase for this one. Too bad the flame was low. Okay. Just a second. Alright. So let's see if we have all our currency now. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we got everything from cur with currency from that. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so we still need conquest talismans. Which I'm guessing we're gonna get from this. Yep. Okay, so... We're gonna need to do this six times. Let's go. Our party is probably fine for this. Nice. Let's go. Start. Goal. This should go pretty quick. There we go. Five more times. Two. All right. Let's see if that's enough. Not quite. Wait, out of eighteen hundred. Yeah, we'll have enough after this. We just have to do three more. And then we'll see if we have enough after to get a uh... I can't remember her name. Yunjin. Two more. Two more and we will have our outfit. Two more. Right. Last one. Then we get our outfit. It's worth it. Win. It's time. Good, we're healed. Get currency. Finally! Yes! We did it! We did it. Let's go! The excitement! Do we still have enough? We do still have enough. We can also get Yunjin. Yunjin get. We have so much currency, we were able to get everything. I'm pretty sure we still have so much currency left. Event shop. Um... Crown. Yes. What else? Decorations. Yes. Oh, we're gonna be just short. Looks like I'll be doing some farming later.
I'll take these. And these. I actually completely forgot about the event shop. <laughs> All I cared about was the outfit in Yunjin. But we, we take these two. I'll take free stuff. Uh... Fireworks. Cool. Got it. And... We can grab some of these. Because we need them. And we always need more prosperity. So I'll have to get some more of this later. So I can get that last one. But I will get it, don't worry. I will get it. Right now, though, we have a new outfit. It is time. I guess this yes. is warranted. It's beautiful outside, and you're here to see it with me. So pretty. Is her hair different, too? Her hair is different, too. She has a different comb. Butterfly. Yes. So pretty. We gotta get somewhere where there isn't water. Here we go. Up here. So we can see. How pretty. Yes. We might need a new glider. Hold on. Eh, it's not that bad. But let's see. Let's see if we have a... Oh, I think we have to land first. There we go. Dressing room. Wind glider. Do we have a glider to match this? That might be okay. That's pretty. Maybe we could use the Wings of Shimmering Galaxy. I really like those. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let this turn. That's nice. I kind of like these. I've been waiting for an excuse to equip those. kind of nice. Might keep that. Also, uh, get rid of all of our exclamation marks now. We have Yunji. Yay! Go find her. Where is she? She's gotta be over here. Do her skills change color? I don't think so. No. Don't waste my time. Blue rocks would be pretty neat, but I understand why they don't. Because it might get confusing. Because different elements have different colors. Would be really neat, though. Okay. What else? What other exclamation points do you want me to get rid of? Okay. And this just wants me to look at the new things that unlocked. So I'll definitely need to do these later. So that I can get the Primo gems. Oh, part three isn't... It's just Mora and stuff. But look. New recipe. We're gonna get a new recipe. So I'll be doing that at some point. But we got it. All done. We have the pretty outfit. I do like Ning Wong's original outfit too, but we're going to use this for a bit because it's new and exciting. Let's go get rid of this other thing off the map. So pretty. Wait, what's the underneath? Oh, it's kind of like her... Uh, Kind of like her normal outfit, except it's white instead of black. I 
I like her hair this way. I like this comb. I like the other comb, too. I like blue, though. I like the dark blue. It's nice. I like both outfits. Actually, does her hair hang down with the other outfit? Is that different, too? It hangs down differently. Yeah. This one's more angular. And this one's straight cut. Accomplished. Okay. Now we don't have any more things. Go back to our spot. Because that is the whole stream today. I got some stuff to do. So, I'll finish the other stuff off stream. It's not going to be any different than the other events we've seen. So, you won't miss anything. I'm going to do my domain hunting off stream too. Because I need to go do that. On you, Sprint. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Anyways. That's why I was questioning why it was different. <laughs> Kinda hard not to notice. I'm so excited for different outfits for Albedo and Zhongli and stuff, too. It's gonna be great. See our achievements. Helped renovate the temple. And... That's it. Eat. We did a good job today. Go ahead and... Get things logged out. There we go. You guys can watch it log out now. You can see what it does. It's not that exciting. <laughs> All done. Let's head over to chatting.